Hello, everybody. I just wanted to tell you today, being a healthcare CEO is really tough. You can be hard pressed to make good money. In fact, I only made $10 million last year. And as a result of that, I have decided to go through an audit of all of the things that go on in our business as far as what goes out for what medications and how many people are trying to cheat the coverage too. You know, a lot of people, they pay only two or $300 a month for coverage and then they're trying to get out of those prescriptions too, which as you know, those prescriptions really, you know, we gotta be able to have good healthcare and have good research. We've gotta be able to have those. And in order to have those, of course, we need to make sure that we get patents and everything as long as possible. It's like the EpiPen, for instance, that's that really, you know, that's that's necessary that they be on all our schools across the country. And they they have to charge, of course, money to make sure that they're done right, too, because, you know, we could charge twenty dollars for an EpiPen, but that might be fatal to a child versus when it costs four hundred dollars. You've got to know that it's going to be a reliable thing. You know, we're not trying to pad our pockets. It's a nonprofit, as as another one of my friends and another uh, healthcare company told me earlier. So what I'm doing today is really doing an audit of our books based upon some suggestions from our accountants here in our legal department. So uh, what I've seen is the biggest opportunity so far. I know the EpiPens is definitely one. We've got to increase the cost of that to make sure that it's safe for customers and their children, people who need them. And we've got to make sure they're in all of our schools so nobody dies to forget how to pay for it. The schools will figure out a way to do it. They always do. Now we just got to figure out how to get them in every school across the country, both public and private. In addition, I found that diabetes is really a good opportunity for us to really step up the quality of healthcare too. Insulin pumps, everybody should have insulin pumps. Everybody should be testing their blood sugars, you know, as long as they can afford to pay for the coverage to, you know, two or $300 a month. That's really, really important. And I also think cancer is a good opportunity. We've got to point money in research and development, but also be able to have the best the best quality drugs and by the best quality drugs we want the ones that really are going to be the highest price because that will be the ones that absolutely can be guaranteed to work the best is the ones with the highest cost too so um as you know that's really important too you know you get what you pay for you know as as my wife told me once a five hundred thousand dollar sports car is definitely better than one that costs twenty thousand dollars and we want to be able to afford like 20 of those or an armada of those if we absolutely can. So that is kind of where we're starting here. You know, we also need to be able to get fair CEO pay because as you know, you know, CEOs are the most important aspect of the business too in regulating that those high quality, highest price medications get out there. And that also we should be compensated fairly. You know, as you look at the healthcare industry, you know, myself, I haven't even made $10 million, but I, I, I need to be able to, to cover my 21,000 square foot house and our house for the for the winter when it gets when it gets too cold and we can't handle it anymore. And also our kids houses and also our grandkids houses and every, everything else that's out there, too. I mean, it really it takes money to survive, too. And you know, we we know how that goes to our customers want the very best in everything and they are absolutely willing to pay for it and also the, the state can help subsidize it now under the ACA because you know we're losing a lot of money on that too we're, we're you know we only charge 300 for things that we could have charged 500 for but it's top quality people should be able to pay for it so I'm going through and absolutely this is critical too. And the poor people, you know, they'll figure out a way to get it. If if they don't, somebody will help them, I'm sure. I mean, everybody usually knows somebody that has money from my personal experience. So we have to choose between whether we run the heat this month or not as it gets colder. Our daughter, she has type 1 diabetes and her health care coverage is $383 a month. And they just told us that her test strips that she uses to control her blood sugars are $250 a month, $250. And I ask you, how many people are able to pay that?
I know we're not able to pay it, so we'll just run it up on the credit card like we do with all our other bills, too. We were working two jobs apiece, my wife and I, and that's basically where we're at right now. All the while, these people that are sitting there at the top making tens of millions of dollars and $5 million, $10 million, $20 million, they don't see the flip side of that. They don't really have to worry about health care at all, in fact. Even under the new laws, if they get penalized, it's nothing to them. That's absolutely nothing. So that's really the, the, the long and short of it, too. And unless you have diabetes or cancer or some other medical condition that you're unfortunate enough to be settled for for life and all those checkup visits and specialists and everything else, it adds up. It's a cha-ching for all those people, too. They're just rolling in the money. They're just rolling in it, too. And I think health care reform in this country is absolutely... It needs to be something done about it, too. You know, the ACA isn't working at all. It's, it's shit. It's not very good. You know, we're, we're paying too much for it. And, you know, that really is, is the long and short of it. So I don't do a lot of, like, changing my voice a lot for videos, as you probably noticed already. But, you know, it's something that needs to definitely be addressed. And that's why I did, like, a little role play, if you will, between somebody that's a CEO and somebody that is actually like a working class individual. Because I really believe that healthcare in this country is really fucked up supremely. And the Affordable Care Act, it's not perfect. It's at least a system, but obviously what's the incentive for people that are healthy to have insurance? You know, there's gotta be, there's gotta be that risk pool in order for it to work. And there's got to be some sort of limitations I know a lot of the companies here are saying that they, they're they not making enough money. You know, they you can tell with how quickly they answer the phones at all these different places that I've talked to and that others have talked to and they're from their experience that this is really a serious problem. You know, $383 a month, that's what I pay. And there are a lot of people that pay even more than that that are friends and family. And I think that is absolutely ridiculous because how does somebody that is working making not very much, you know, unless you're super wealthy, how do you afford it? And really, I've always said that healthcare should not be something afforded to just the wealthy. I know people say, well, go out and work more, go out and get better education. That is easier said than done. There's not programs in place for this country to do that very easily. And I think it's very sick. I think it's sick and wrong. It made me want to puke today when I picked up my diabetic test strip prescription for $235. And it just, it made me physically ill thinking about somebody that probably is working two or three jobs like that. That's not far-fetched at all, as people will probably tell you. And I'm sure there's, hopefully there's somebody watching this video that says, Derek, I want you to help doing something about it. I want to drive awareness of it. I, I potentially want to run for office at some point and change the system itself, because I think that's total BS saying that companies are not making money. And then you look at what the CEO bonus packages are for healthcare and pharmaceutical companies. I'm all for people making money, but you don't need $20 million a year to survive. And if you do, there's something very, very wrong with you. And yes, I am being judgmental, but I really truly believe that at a certain point, Money is just basically you're wastefully spending it because you can while other people are suffering. And I think that that is absolutely wrong and it's despicable. It really is. And I think we need to take a look at that in this country, regardless of who gets elected, regardless of who gets selected to the Senate, regardless of who gets elected to the House of Representatives, no matter what that mix looks like, we need to take a look, a long, hard look and say, are we okay with letting people just suffer so they have more health issues later? Are we okay with letting only people that are super wealthy and affluent have access to health care? And I personally, I'm not. I'm not okay with that. And I have not been. And that has been something that has grown more and more. And now as a business owner again, that I really am passionate about. And I wanna speak out and I wanna do something about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are about the, these issues in the comments. Is it an issue for you? Do you have health conditions? What do you see in the healthcare system? What could be better? What ideas do you have? Because I wanna make a difference and I wanna become more of an advocate for this. And it's time, I feel like it's time to do that. So this is a different type of video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it and I hope that you are as upset as I am about this, that it's just, it's not right that people have to suffer like they do 
when there should be affordable medications for all, for everyone, not just a select few. Thank you very much. Keep watching and subscribe.